Hi guys and welcome back. In this tutorial we will see how we can make a side menu bar in Flutter. It's kind of replica of Twitter side menu bar and it's totally responsive. You can see that by clicking on hamburger icon the sidebar gets open and by touching outside it will disappear. Also by side gesture the side menu bar will open. So now we will code it in editor. So right now I have created a new Flutter project which is a stateless widget and I am returning material app and home as scaffold. Now we will add app bar in it. Write the title text sidebar tutorial and set the background color colors dot light blue and I will write center title true. So now we will hot reload it. So our app look something like this. Now we will add a new file in lib folder and I will name it as navbar.dart and here I will import material.dart and create a stateless widget and named it as navbar and instead of returning container I will write here safe area and in the child I will write drawer and then again child and type list view then I will type children which will be a colon because everything is layout in vertical layout so that is why I write columns and then again children and our first component would be circle avatar so I will write circle avatar and let me format this document so we can easily read our code so in circle avatar I will add background image which is acid image and write its path name I have already added in this folder in my project and now I have to add in my pubspec.jml file scroll down until you will see assets click uncomment it and erase it and press ctrl s or command s and our flutter pub get will start running so now we will come back to our navbar.dart file and hit ctrl s and it will automatically hot reload and let me add navbar in our made.dart file I will write drawer and then navbar class and now we have to import navbar.dart so we will select quick fix and import library and it will automatically add it in our main.dart file now we will hit ctrl s so finally we have our drawer in our app which we can also call hamburger menu I will click on it and our circle avatar is showing in our drawer so we will again head back to our navbar.dart file and give it a radius 30 and then hot reload it so our image is now look great so now I have to add my name and username so for that so after circle editor I will add text widget and write my name in it and give it some styling text style font size 20 font weight dot bold colors colors dot black and let me format this document and I will copy this text widget and paste it here and write my username here and font size would be 15 and font width will be normal and I will color it gray now we will hot reload it so it would look something like this there is no gap in between circle avatar and our text widgets so I will add size box between circle avatar and text widget and give its height 15 and now we will hot reload it so it would look something like this so it's kind of centrally aligned so after columns we will add cross axis alignment dot start and now we will check it so now it's kind of looking same so now we will add our followings and followers which is in horizontal layout so I will create a row widget after our text widget which has a children and then I will copy paste this text widget and write it here 1k and I will change font weight to bold and color black and then again paste text widget and write it here following and after that I will add size box 
and in this scenario I will add width and set the value 15 and after that I will copy these two text widgets and paste it after size box and write it here 195 and followers and now we will hot reload it so we have finally achieved our circle avatar our text widgets our name our username and followings and followers now we have to make profile list bookmarks moments which is again a row widget so we'll, i will come back to our editor and after this row widget i will add size box and now we will in column hierarchy so i will give height 25 and then again a row widget and write icon icons dot person and size would be 40 and then we will add size box which will be a width and i will give the value 10 then again a text widget and named it as profile and give it styling which is text style and font size 20 font weight dot bold and color it as black let me format this document and now we will hot reload it so now we have a profile text widget and icon so we will do this for all other icons and text widget so now you don't need an explanation so i will code it in speed so now we have finally made our profile list bookmarks and moments icons and text widgets so now we have to add a divider after this so after our row widget we will add divider and set its height 60 and color it as gray and now we will hot reload it so now we have our divider after that we have to add our two text widgets and a moon icon and our qr generator icon so after divider we will add text widget and type setting and privacy and give it a style text style font size 20 font weight font weight dot board and i will color it as black after that I will add size box and give it height 20 and then copy this and type it after our size box and I will write help center and here I will give height 100 and after our size box I have to add row widget because our moon icon and our QR code is in horizontal layout so i will write row children then icon icons dot dark mode size 40 then i will add size box and give it width 200 then again icon icons dot qr qr code size 40 and now we will hot reload it so our app is now completed but you can see that there is no gap from left and from top so we will come to our list view which we have declared on top and in list view we will add padding which is edge insects from ltrb and give value for left 10 top from 20 right from 5 and bottom from 10 and now we will hot reload it so now it's kind of looking great we have finally able to build a drawer or we can say navigation menu so thank you for watching my video i will see you in next one till then goodbye